I mean, it's not, not necessarily what we would have thought in terms of those responses. Well, in terms of the coronation, firstly, there's about a quarter of the country who say they don't think Harry and Meghan should be allowed uh, or invited to that coronation. Um, so there's a hard core, if, if you like, of people that are really turned off by Harry and Meghan. But, you know, most British people are actually you know, pretty, uh, you know, pretty uh, relaxed, pretty sort of, uh, you know, reasonable, reasonable about these things. They certainly disapprove of, of Harry and Meghan, but they're not really in favour of uh, excluding them from these events altogether. On the Lady uh, lady uh, Hussey thing, I think what's interesting there is is actually the, the key finding here, I think, is is less than half of the country think she should have resigned. Uh, the, the rest are either saying they... They don't think she should have resigned. They're not exactly sure what they think or they don't really know. Um, so we've got a lot of people there that aren't sort of uh, giving a crystal view. But we certainly don't have a kind of widespread uh, support for her resignation. That is certainly not there. The country is very divided on that issue. Much more divided, I would argue, Stephen, than much of our media commentary uh, would have had us believe but not divided when it comes to thinking that William and Catherine s sort of represent Britain better. Yeah, that's right. I mean, 54% of the country say Will and Kate represent the values of, of Britain. Uh, only 7% say the same for Harry and Meghan. Uh, I mean, Meghan's own ratings, by the way, in the latest polling, um, she's on minus 27. There's only one member of the royal family who is below her, and that's Prince Andrew, um, she's basically where Jeremy Corbyn was in 2019 uh, in terms of her net rating. So, I mean, as I say, if I was advising her, I mean, I think I probably would say two things to her. One is her brand is massively damaged, um, maybe beyond repair. And the second thing is, if you're then going to try and recover that brand among the British people, it, the, probably the best thing to do is not to be seen to be mocking a, the Queen, a much more popular figure in British uh, society, uh, and perhaps, you know, um, uh, treat things a little bit more delicately than, than, than she did in the documentary that we're all talking about.